Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the latest edition of The Corner. I am your host, Blake Rogers. In today's episode, I'm giving you, I am giving you my top 10 Post Malone songs of all time. You might disagree. You probably will disagree. Um, if you do disagree, leave your comments. Uh, also, leave uh, suggestions on artists like me to do next. I really look forward to those. And make sure to like and subscribe. Starting off my list of number 10, I have Feeling Whitney. Coming off his debut album, Stoney, that just has that, I wanna say that Johnny Cash type of feel to it, that just uh, depressing, uh, just slow rhythm music to it. Um, basically him drinking heavy and basically him just putting his pain out there for the world to show. Uh, I respect it. And for that, uh, Feeling Whitney is number 10. On to number nine. This song is really, really uh, underrated uh, in my opinion. And it also off of his debut, Stoney. And when I first heard it, it had like a weekend type of feel to it. Uh, I wanted like Starboy, it had a Starboy feel to it, just the track. Um, and this track I am talking about is Hit This Hard. Uh, the echo effect on there, the echo chambers were, was phenomenal, and, and the beat and the hook and the na 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 na. It's, it's a really underrated song. I don't see people posting a lot on their stories or people talking about it a lot, but Hit This Hard is number nine for me. Number eight, the mainstream track that pretty much everybody's talking about, which is wow. Uh, the Dak Prescott line, who can forget about that? It has a little belly dance. Uh, fit to it. Uh, don't judge me on the belly dance, y'all. I didn't go. I didn't go. I, I didn't go all the way into it. I just did a little. If anything, it was a. It was a. It was, it was a safety sign. I did. I wasn't even belly dancing. It was just a safety. Number eight. I have Wow. Uh, it's a hot track. What What more can you want? It's short and simple, and it kind of leaves you wanting more uh, after hearing it for the first couple times. Like, dang, only two minutes and thirty seconds. We want more. Number seven, and also an underrated track. I feel like all these is underrated, even though Post Malone is one of the biggest artists out there. But these are songs that I just don't see people talking about. Uh, number seven, I have Yours Truly Post. This song, this is something that you listen to after a night out drinking, and you just reflecting like, okay, where am I at in my life right now? What am I doing right now? It's just a smooth, reflective uh, song, which I love about it. The, the singing is great, the, the, the vocals is great. It's just like, you know, you have your boys like, oh, you know, the high of my life, you know, I'm gonna high my life right now, but what is there in the future? And that's why it's just a great, great self-reflective song. So your truly post comes at number seven. Number six, it originally uh, debuted uh, on his mixtape. Uh, before Stoney. Uh, this is a song with 2 Chains. Money Made Me Do It. 2 Chains rhythm. And, and one thing I, I will say, say about this, Post Malone brings the best out of his feature artists. Uh, we will go further on the list, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, And they kind of bring the best out of him. It's a two-way street and it works real well. He usually blends well uh, on the artists he's on the track with. And with that, uh, 2 Chains is no exception. A uh, phenomenal job. The rhythm and the flow is great, and money made me do it, baby. Really, really like like that song, and that's why it's top ten on my list. Have to go on to the top five. Without this song, there would be no Post Malone. And for some reason, this song has controversy, and I don't know why, because uh, it's White Iverson. I, just, I, I don't know why, but uh, I said it. <laughs> White Iverson. White Iverson makes number five because without White Iverson, there is no Post Malone. There is none of this. I am not doing this video right now. This song put Post Malone on the map. Music video was perfect. When I first heard it, <laughs> I was like, is this song real? You know how you hear a song for the first time and just like, it doesn't feel too real. Like, it's just too perfect. And that's what I got from White Iverson. I was just like, my gosh. Like, everything about this is dope. Why did I ever say, since I was born and I was young? Smooth, it's great, puts you in the feels, it can put you in that that vibe. I, I, I love what I ever said, and it cracks the top five list. On to number four. Spoil my night, spoil my night, spoil my night. As soon as you hear it, you hear the doo doo doo, doo doo doo. He's like, oh, he just, it just goes in. Uh, Post Malone and Sway Lee, the way they are one of the most unique vocal talents we had uh, in the past 10 years. Swell My Night is basically, that's the pregame song. You know, you about to go out and kick it, you're pregaming. And I know he had the song Taking Shots on there, but this is my pregame song. I love, I absolutely love Spoil My Night. On to number three. Too Young Cracks the List. Because, you know, this is a little bit after um, White Iverson. This is that area, okay, wait, what's the next song he's gonna put out? 
Too Young is is a dope, dope track. I don't wanna die too young, too young. Pretty sure I'm off key on that, but that, that's not the point. The song is amazing. It just puts you in that 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 mood, like in that mood, like you wanna go and do something, but you can chill back, and it, it just puts life in perspective. Like you gotta go get it while you can, but also have fun uh, while you're doing it. On to number two, the song that was primarily used um, for the Spider-Verse uh, movie, which is Sunflower. This song is so, so catchy. It just puts you in such a happy, uh, great mood. You, you wanna listen to Sunflower and you feel on somebody or, or it's in a really healthy relationship, Sunflower is a go-to song to listen to. Uh, I don't know more to say about it. Sway Lee and, and uh, Post Malone, they just work together, man. They just work. Number one, I have Rockstar. We cannot forget about Rockstar. At the club, Rockstar. Music video, Rockstar. Post Malone and 21 Savage, they just did their thing. There's no other way about it. Rockstar was just a predominant, predominant hot song for, for, for a long, long time. And I know it got annoying after a while, but when you take a break from it, like, damn, this song is cold. And you can see why it was number one. So Rockstar I have is number one. I know you're saying, Blake, where is, where is better now? Blake, where is congratulations? Guess what? It's not my top 10 list. It can be on your top 10 list. It's not on my top 10 list. Uh, much credit to Post. He puts out good music. Uh, just didn't make my list. It just wasn't uh, for me. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, leave your comments. Do you, do you agree? Do you disagree? What's your suggestions for the next video? Always, always taking suggestions. And make sure to like and subscribe. And check out the Blake Rogers Show, my podcast. You can find it on Apple iTunes Podcast, Spotify, Speaker.com, The Blake Rogers Show. Uh, subscribe and rate. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay lit. I know you're feeling the Nike deck, though. I'm all, I'm all Nike'd out. <laughs>